Hello friends, thanks for tuning in. We're playing Horizon Zero Dawn on the PC. Last time, Aloy helped the Nora drive the Raider cult from their sacred lands. After that, she discovered a facility known as a cauldron, where new machines were being made. The cauldron has given her override controls to control more machines, but the place has... provided more questions than answers, is how I'd describe it. Right now, she's just outside of Mother's Crown. The village Varl told her to find Morea for guidance to get to the Karja city of Meridian. Easy, easy. Here she is, the hero of Devil Free. Come here, girl. Been wanting to meet you. So, you're Aloy. I've heard about you from the war party, the hero of Devil's Grief. One of them, maybe. I didn't fight alone. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it, but their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is, there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is, the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So if I clear out the corrupted machines, they'll open the border? I suppose. But I can't spare any braves to help you. Who said I needed help? You'll clear the valley, all by yourself. I'm good with a bow. For your sake? Better than good, I hope. How far has the corruption spread? I've seen it myself in machines at the head of the valley, and there's been word of corrupted machines in the south, too. Whatever the corruption is, it doesn't just affect machines. It burns flesh and sickens the injured. Do the corrupted machines have any weaknesses? Fire seems to affect them more than ordinary machines. A small mercy. This is a curse only the goddess can lift. Unless we find out what's behind it and put a stop to it. The matriarchs have spoken, Aloy. All we can do is fight and pray to the goddess. So I'll find this Karja fort to the west? And beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown, relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. Mother's Crown guards the edge of the sacred land, right? So do you see a lot of foreigners here? Yes. Not here in the village itself, of course, but in the valley beyond. Since the war ended, foreigners have been allowed in the valley, and Nora can trade with them, if they choose. It's a kind of in-between place, neither foreign nor sacred land. If you're curious, visit Hunter's Gathering. It's little more than a heap of dingy shelters and tents, but foreigners use it as a way station. Sounds like a place where I could find out more about Meridian. 
I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. Aloy did spot a herd of corrupted machines earlier on her way to Mother's Crown. Those should be the closest ones to eliminate. Although there will be some travel involved, she may as well override another strider to use as a mount. And no, she doesn't intend to plug it into its butt. It just works out to be the closest spot when sneaking up to them. Striders try their best to follow paths, but the trick is pointing them down the right path. At least Aloy doesn't have to parallel park these things. That's a sawtooth approaching those braves. She ought to help them out. Those aren't more bullets. They're bandits. Oh, crap. Hold on. Fine. No help for you then. It's too bad the Sawtooth took down her new mount, but at least the other corruption zone is just over this nearby ridge.
Snow haze. White as bone. <laughs> That's not got dark. This poison seems almost to eat away at metal. Maybe that's what drives the machines mad. Might find a way to use it someday. That's true, she did just learn how to override the big ones. Let's watch what happens. No, not you, Bullwinkle, the bigger machine. Have I mentioned how convenient it is that the grasses Aloy can hide in are distinguished by being nearly the same color as her hair? Coincidence? Or just good game design? We'll review any other instances of gameplay elements using color coding in our next discussion group. Here we go, boop the snoot. And this is why Aloy was told no pets. Ouch. She used without ammo. Here they come, corrupted watchers.
cleanse this valley of corruption. Time to see if the Karja Fort will let me pass over the mountains. Sounds of fighting. Has something attacked the Karja Fort? A corruptor! Fighting this corruptor feels easier now that Aloy is exploiting the weakness to fire. Note how quickly the fire icon fills up and how much damage the corrupted team does. Turn back, girl! These machines are dangerous! <laughs> Open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balan! Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort. On a balcony to the left, overlooking the valley. Okay. Thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. That's all there is in Banu Glands. Ah, oh, poor feet. Move along, you have no need to loiter around here. Clearly Aloy is a bit lost in this stone architecture. Now this might be interesting, an actual contemporary book. I think we missed out on proper info about the derangement phenomenon. Your concerns regarding the continuing derangement of the machines are noted. Many citizens have passed since the first sightings of this frightful change. Know that the Sun King has taken every measure to protect Holy Meridian and the Maze Lands. The cause of the derangement cannot be the Sun's displeasure alone. For years of sacrifice under Sun King Jaran has produced no noticeable effect on the machines. Of the simpler machines, where once they fled at sight of men, and now they are likely to charge. The larger creatures can be seen to lunge at the unwary with murderous intent. This is to say nothing of the coming of the Sawtooth or its metal brethren, the Rever Ravager, Stalker, or that terrible giant, the Thunderjaw, each wielding a wider array of strange weapons. Some suggest that the machines have come to resent men for hunting them. 
attempted to understand the phenomenon appears no different to those harvested many years before. The Banuk, however, claimed to have recorded a change in the machine songs of the machine spirits. Sun King has sent envoys to Banur to learn more. Of course, the Sun King graciously welcomes your own contributions to study the derangement. Respectful to Shadi, a court envoy. Captain Balan, the guard at the gate said you'd been to Meridian recently. What can I expect on the trail? Nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return, if there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What is this place, exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian, and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... What's Meridian like? Well, it's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sun Ring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King Avad has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that, bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched in to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora, and they passed her on the way, then back. I brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. I've got to get going. Thanks for the information. One moment. If you find yourself heading back toward the Sacred Land, there's something you could do for me. I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirm my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. If you could look for them, I'd appreciate it. Their last known location was near an abandoned Nora village, due east of here. I'll keep an eye out for them, if I'm over that way. The world beyond the sacred land. I need to find Olin, and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, the one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. And he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. Snow haze. White as bone. <laughs> yes, Aloy, that got dark. Now what on earth is that giant tower doing all the way out there? Tell me that wasn't built by the Karja.
Since the Karja Sundom is a whole new environment, Aloy should finally pick up some additional types of weapons. The Blast Sling should be a good source for high close range damage. And the Rope Caster will help pin down some of the faster machines. Being able to deliver cold and electric damage would be useful too. Need to remember to pick up a Karja Sling later. But that's probably good for now until she gets more shards. She can hold off until Meridian at least for new outfits as well. Quite the scenery change here. Wait a minute. Is anyone else getting flashbacks to the Oregon Trail? I ignore that giant robot bird. Though that's a good reminder, Aloy shouldn't linger until she gets to the Karja capital. Yes, yes, I know which state contains Chimney Rock, but do you know which state contains the Karja Sundom? These are definitely bandits. She knows how to spot them now. More where that This machine appears to be a broadhead, similar enough to a strider to be usable. And that machine over there is a thunder jaw. She's definitely going to avoid that one. If we can finally see Meridian in the distance, that tower must be fairly close to the city itself, but both appear to be massive. Stay bright, always stay alert. That's what I say. Is my fate to only experience adventure in the glyph books? Well, you could experience Aloy's adventure by subscribing to my YouTube channel and liking this video. No, seriously, you, my friend, are maybe one of four people watching at this point, so that would help the visibility of the series. I'm not expecting to make money from this, I just want to know people enjoy watching it. Anyhow, that's enough for this episode, and I've talked too much as it is. Next time, Aloy will be ready to enter the gates of Meridian, so be sure to keep an eye out for the next episode. I try to premiere one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, thanks again.